The Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust's Love Your River Chelt project was set up in 2013 with funding from the Environment Agency and from Cheltenham Borough Council. And the reason the project was set up was because this river, the River Chelt, that runs through Cheltenham is failing to reach good ecological status uh, against national and European standards. There are several reasons why this might be the case, from agricultural runoff to, to water runoff from roads to the careless or deliberate dumping of rubbish into these watercourses. But in urban rivers like this, one of the main reasons for pollution incidents is through simple domestic misconnections, which is when the plumbing of uh, washing machines or toilets or baths is connected wrong. So they're going straight into local streams and rivers through the storm drains rather than into the foul water sewer which would then go to the water treatment plant. The knock-on effects of this chemical or sewage pollution can be to seriously impoverish the food chains and the water quality within the river. So from the tiniest organisms right up to, to creatures as big as otters and all those stages in between, those complex connections will be impoverished and will be destroyed by this lack of water quality. So part of what we're trying to do with this project is to raise awareness of the River Chelt uh, amongst the people of Cheltenham and the fact that this is still a fantastic wildlife resource here, albeit under serious pressure. I mean, there are still kingfishers here, there's plenty of brown trout in, in the river right here and bullheads, eels and sticklebacks as well as grey wagtails, we get the odd dipper record, and even otters. But for how long? If we continue to pollute these watercourses, then we will lose all of these creatures, and, and before long you'll have an ecological wasteland here. It'll be a wildlife-free river. And local people like these coming out and taking part in enhancing their own wildlife habitat and their own natural environment is a really strong part of the project and a really important part of what makes it sustainable. And also the passers-by that are coming past and asking us what we're doing, it's important that they see that somebody cares about their river, that it isn't just a drain, that it's vibrant with life under the surface there. And, uh, and it should be this, this town's biggest ecological asset. Richard, we're standing here in, in Cheltenham. We've worked together, well, you've worked in, in with us as the Wildlife Trust in nicer places than this, in the Cotswolds, in more yes. idyllic places, shall we say, in Indeed. the Cotswolds, in the Forest of Dean. Why, why have you been here standing thigh deep in water picking out rubbish from the River Chow? I'm not quite sure why. Um, I, I thought about this, why I was here this morning. I, I'm, I'm a member of all sorts of wildlife trusts, the Wildlife Trust, WWW, RSPB, Ornithologists, Butterfly Conservation. Yeah. And I pay a lot of money every year in terms of donations. Right. But the reason I come volunteering, and particularly Cheltenham where I live, is because actually I'm doing something real and yeah. I can see what I've done. Yeah. And there's an immediate sense of, of, of gratification, of reward, because you can see a clean river yeah. or a pile of balsam or whatever. So the reason I do it is because I can decide whether I give my time or not. Yeah. That's basically why I do it. And, 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 I, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's better than what I do for my day job. Jill, you're half soaked to the skin. Yes. Possibly in the early stages of pneumonia. <laughs> yes. Um, why, why is it worth it? Is it worth it? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Um, I, I live locally and I had no idea that, that uh, activities like this went on. Yeah. And I heard about it, about clearing the chelt. And mm. I thought I'd like to go and find out what they do. And I came yeah. and had a vague look and thought, hey, this is not bad. And uh, thereafter, I'm hooked. And, <laughs> and it is a completely new area to me. Yeah. But I am hooked. Although this is your area. Oh yes, it? yes, I live so, very locally. Yes, I'm Charlton Kings. Yes. Yeah, we, we've worked in better, better weather conditions. I think than this, this is the worst one we've ever had. <laughs> but you're still here. I am, and you're not going to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. One way in which we can help to determine where the point sources of pollution are in the river is by getting an idea of the water quality based on samples of the invertebrate life in the river. So if we look for target groups of aquatic creepy crawlies, such as the nymphs of mayflies and stoneflies and caddisflies, and also freshwater shrimps, it gives us a picture when we look at the abundance and the diversity of these creatures as to what sort of a river we've got here. And we can give this river a score based on, based on these uh, observations. And this is a score that we can compare to other reaches of the river and that we can monitor over time. If we can find pipes 
that are suspicious outlet pipes that either have foaming or bad smells or effluent obviously coming out of them, then these will be reported to the Environment Agency and them and the local water companies will trace them back to local houses or businesses or wherever if they can and it will then be their legal responsibility.